Welcome to Las Vegas TV. I'm Justin Holman, and, and here on our Meet the Locos section, we got uh, Carlos, who's a good friend of JC's, who came down here to the Las Vegas Cuban Cigar Factory to uh, enjoy a fine cigar. What are you smoking today? Justin, I'm smoking a Partegas Number no. 10. I haven't had it for 10 years, and you know what? It's still as good as the first time I smoked it. Ah, uh, the good old part of, I think it's Partagas. Partagas. You know, it's funny, some say tomato, tomato, yeah. and I've heard it both ways, but Partagas, Partagas, whatever it is, it tastes great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So how long have you been a cigar smoker? God, you know, when um, I think I really started when I was in college, I had a friend of mine who bought a can of tobacco to freshen up his house. He was a, he was a bachelor, and you know, of course, all bachelors are not as clean as uh, we'd wish we could be, <laughs> and the aroma would smell it, would make smelled great one day he said you know what we got to we got to smoke this stuff and uh, he bought a pipe started smoking it yeah and somehow that led to cigars and that's uh, that's how it all started probably almost 20 years ago do you remember what your first cigar was you know I really can't I was I mean I was such a virgin in it that uh, anything that smoked I think I was uh, I was up for it really wasn't until I met JC that I got a much more broader education in the field. So what would some of your go-to cigars be? Uh, Partigas, of course, was one of them. I would, uh, I would always radiate towards the well-known brands, uh, CAO. Okay. Um, but as time went on, I uh, discovered that it was much funner to go out there and just try different brands. And uh, I think uh, uh, CAO is still one of the favorite ones, but... So I can't pin down a brand, but I can tell you a nationality that I like is the Honduran cigars. Okay. And I really have never tried a bad Honduran. Hmm. So. Yeah, one of my uh, good to, good go-to cigars is actually the Partagas Black. I just, I just love that cigar. It's got that that sweet chocolatey flavor to it, and it's just such a good uh, medium to full-bodied cigar. And right. But lately they've been uh, pretty packed, pretty tight, and they've been tough to smoke. I don't know what's been going on with them, but uh, you're right. I mean, there's some cigars that uh, it's uh, you know it's almost an experimentation at mm -hmm. times. Uh, I don't know if it's the time of the year that they're packed or if they're trying different different experiments with it. Uh, but every once in a while, you get a good cigar that's consistent. Um, the El Rey del Mundo, for mm -hmm. example, is one that if you open it now and you open it 10 years from now, it's basically going to be the same, the same feeling, the same draw, the same smoke. Yeah, JC is a big fan of the tissue wrapped ones. Yeah, exactly. As a matter of fact, he was the one that uh, introduced me to it. <laughs> so how long have you been in Vegas? I came to Vegas about uh, 18 years ago. Okay. Uh, you got any kind of favorite shops you like to hang out with? Uh, let's see, I, uh, I wish I could say this shop, but it's too far away from where I live. Okay. But I do go to a shop uh, near my place, uh, the Tinderbox. It's only about a block or two from where I work and a block or two from where I live. And that's the one on Sahara and Fort Apache? That's correct. Yeah, that's owned by uh, Irv, I think. That's, that's correct. And, and just like most shops, they got a real nice lounge where you can sit down, have a cigar, and uh, uh, make friends. Just a side note, you know, I've made most of my good friends relaxing and smoking cigars because there's nothing, you, excuse me, there's nothing you could do for 35 minutes when you're smoking a cigar or 40 minutes than just to smoke and shoot the bull. Yeah, it's, it's a great way to relax, and like I said, you network and meet a lot of people. And yeah, and I've met some, time. And I've met some wonderful cigar smokers. Yeah, that's how I met uh, JC and Stinky and uh, a few other local people, and, you know, it's just, it's great. Yeah. It's a good thing to do, so, you know, get out to your local shops. It's a good place to meet people, and I know some some shops, due to the uh, stupid smoking bans, aren't even allowed to uh, allow their patrons to enjoy a cigar indoors, but still it's a great place to at least hang out and try new brands and get recommendations of the owners and the people in there and, you know, just explore, like you, like you said, you know. And uh, JC says the same thing, that part of the fun of being a cigar smoker is trying new things. So don't be discouraged by the label of the cigar or, or the name of the cigar. If you've heard... A lot of people say this brand isn't very good, or this brand is the best, you know, just yeah. form your own opinions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, do we got time? Yeah. I'll tell you a fun cigar story. I was in California, I was delivering off a, a package I had to deliver, uh, and on the way back I had to stop at Jeans. And I 
I was in a mood for a cigar. It was probably around 11 o'clock in the evening. And I walked into the gift shop and they had these cheap $1.50 cigars. <coughs> now, usually I, I'd bypass that, but I was really in the mood for a cigar, so I picked it up, went outside, lit it up, and about, probably about a quarter of an inch after smoking it, I said, you know, this is good. It has a good aroma, it has a good draw, it tastes very good. And something crossed my mind, I said, I wonder if it's a Honduran. And I went back there and I asked the lady, out of curiosity, what is the what is the nationality of this cigar? And it was actually a Honduran. Hmm. So now I could say I've tried them from the, the least expensive to the most expensive, and it's been consistent. That's good. Yeah. And I'm not knocking. Any, I'm not. I don't want. I'm not knocking any other country. But I just found personally that the Honduran cigars have uh, have been a flavor that I like very much. Right, and that, that's all cigar smoking is. It's personal preference. I mean. You know, we do reviews, and other places do reviews, and really it's just it's their opinion on, on the flavors they pick up. Because you can sit two people down, give them the exact same cigar, and they will have two totally different experiences. Right. So just use that as kind of a guideline. Right. So I, I look at it as. I was noticing your shirt. You guys were talking about uh, uh, what you wear for you when you want to smoke. Mm -hmm. That looks like a relaxing shirt to smoke. Yeah, it is. It's comfortable. It's, you know, especially out here in the Vegas weather, it's not, you know, too hot and sticky. So, uh uh, it's a good one for all year round. Yeah, I agree with JC. When you smoke, you should wear something light. Yeah. And I have this. I have the same, except that this one doesn't have any pockets, so I got to throw it in my in my uh, pants pockets. But yeah, the same thing. I like something very relaxed, well and uh, loose, because it's time to relax. Now I've noticed that on your Prodigus there, you have a uh, punch cut. Yes. Uh, do you prefer a punch cut, or is it just your mood? It really depends on the mood. I like the punch cut. I've heard, and I might be wrong, but when you have a, a diameter cut, the smoke tends to accumulate when you suck it in, and it's a little bit more powerful. I don't know how true that is compared to the cut, but uh, I like the punch cut every once in a while. Well, you are decreasing the, uh, your smoking area, so I would think it probably would be more concentrated in that, in that manner. I would, I would hope so. <laughs> How is your luck with lighters? That seems to be the consistent thing in cigar smoking is that whether you pay $5 or $500 for a lighter, which why you spend $500 for a lighter, I don't know. Um, they just don't want to work right. Do you have that same kind of experience? Well, you know, throughout the years I've tried different types of lighters, but as old fashioned as it might sound, I still like the wooden matches. They always work? Yeah, and it's there's maybe there's an old romance to me that, you know, you light it up and you take one or two matches. The first match, of course, you toast the mm -hmm. the top of the cigar on the edges, and then the second one, you uh, you light it up. Sometimes it takes three, but um, I have no problems with matches. Uh, with the lighters, I prefer the torches. Okay. Because it does have the the nice consistent flow where you could really toast it. Uh, the only drawback is that. Uh, my experience is some of the torches I've had has probably lived for two or three months before they start not working as well as when they were brand new. And that's the only problems I have with lighters. Hmm. So it seems to be about the same with everybody else. Yeah, unless you want to try the Zeppels. Zeppels are, are still good because they're, you know, they're not torches, but they have a nice consistent flame to it. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Well, thanks for chatting with us. It was good to uh, well, meet you. Thank you, Jason. It was nice to meet you, too. All right. Uh, you've been watching Las Vegas TV here on LasVegasTV.com, and we've uh, just talked to Carlos, and thanks for watching.